one squash recipe this season, you gotta make this one. These are sweet and salty acorn squash rings that we made on the barbecue and we're gonna teach you how easy it is so you can make them on the barbecue too. The first thing you wanna do is cut your acorn squash into about three quarter inch rings. Now, this is tricky. You'll see I'm struggling yeah, you here. You like you're like really putting some muscle work into this. You gotta get the elbow grease going. <laughs> see how the knife is rocking back and forth? You have to be super careful. Now watch here. The this end. Ain't, this ain't for the kiddos to do. It's not, definitely not. The end is tricky. Get the fingies out of there. I knew you were gonna kill me for this. The next thing we wanna do is punch out those squash seeds. You'll, you'll notice that I'm putting them into a bowl and that's for my chickens because they really like them, but you can definitely roast those off afterwards. Oh, so I'm not letting those go to the chickens. If I were doing that, I'd be roasting those in the grill because they're just basically like pumpkin seeds. Yes, 100%. So the next thing we're gonna do is put together our spice blend. That's also known as a rub. In the barbecue world, they call them barbecue rubs, but it's basically just a bunch of spices that are mixed together with salt and pepper. And you probably already have all of these ones in your pantry right now. That's why we love making our own spice blend. They're flavorful and you already have the spices already. Exactly. Then we're gonna get some spray oil. I'm using avocado. But I love a good spray oil. It's so convenient. You don't gotta get out the brush to brush it on there. Exactly. It saves something from going into the dishwasher. Give it the old spray. It saves two steps in one. T it totally does. And you wanna make sure you're hitting both sides here. I'm seeing here, you're going like heavy handed on the spray. You got to because that's what's gonna make the barbecue rub adhere to the squash. Because otherwise it is kind of dry. Are we saying we're eating the skin here? I'm, is that what I'm gathering? You're not peeling this thing. Because have you ever tried to peel an acorn squash? I've attempted. There's too many ridges. There's a lot of ridges. Too many ridges. You definitely don't have to peel it. But when once they're cooked, eating it is up to you. I personally like to eat it. It's a little extra fiber. You know I like to eat it. I eat my kiwi skin. That's next level fiber. That's a lot of fiber. <laughs> Now we're heading out to the grill. We're gonna put on a clean grill grate, shut the lid, and now is the time to add some wood flavor if you so choose. So you're gonna fill up the pellet box here if you wanted to add some wood flavor with, with some wood pellets. That was just me emptying them out because I don't want um, pellet flavor here. I don't want oh, any. Oh, you didn't smoke this. I wasn't in the mood for smoke on these. You could, that would absolutely be delicious. I'm disappointed in you. I would have gone smoke flavor. Smoke and squash, come on. I just wasn't in the mood. I had just made smoky pumpkin seeds. It was like I had too much smoke flavor in my mouth. Ladies, I know you know what I'm talking about. A little smoke is good, too much smoke is bad. And that's why I also love this grill because it gives you the option. You don't gotta go smoke flavor every time. Yeah, I did not want, want smoke on the rings. So stop judging. <laughs> <laughs> then since we are going to be grilling on high, we're gonna turn the grill function on. We're gonna add 20 minutes on the clock here, hit that start button. It, it starts preheating and you'll see the notches going up there. I love that. The notches count up to eight. So you know what I do? I see, okay, I got three notches there. I'm gonna run in, I'm gonna go put a load of laundry to go. I'm sorry, it's all about multitasking. If you got eight notches, go do something. And exactly, and chances <laughs> are your food's already ready. You're just gonna stand there and stare at it. Or you also could just scroll. I go on TikTok sometimes and then all of a sudden I feel like I've been on there for two seconds. All of a sudden I'm up to the eighth notch and I'm like, all right, it's time to cook. <laughs> about the eighth notch is in two seconds it tells you to add the food so there's no guessing when you have to add the food it, there's a it dings and it says add food so we're gonna get our squash rings right on the grill look, look at that smoke happening they look like little flowers that's exactly They're what I pretty. thought too very visually appealing here so you'll notice I'm doing a little Tetris here trying to fit all the pieces on you do have to do these in batches <gasps> look at those grill marks come on honey I gotta give you a round of applause for that thank you Thank you very much. Beautiful. What I'm doing here is turning them a quarter of the way. You don't have to do this, but I wanted to get those a little bit of a crosshatch grill mark. You could just let them go for the full 10 minutes per side without turning halfway through. I just try, was trying to get a little bit fancy for you gals. Regular grill mark, you're like, ooh, that's looking good. Then when you see the crosshatch, you're like, that gal's got skills on the grill. Thank you, look at that. Yeah, that looks incredible. Okay, so we're gonna flip them over after 10, and then we're gonna look, uh, can we just Come marvel? On. I feel like that would be a fantastic Thanksgiving side dish, a Thanksgiving appetizer. I just love that that this screams Thanksgiving. I think to me it screams afternoon snack, which is what happened. Oh. And you're gonna see in just a second. <laughs> so we're gonna get them off the grill. And like I said, do these in batches because they won't all fit. Was that two squash? That was two squash, but they ended up being very large too. So sometimes you know you can find acorn squash and they're kind of small. Maybe they'd fit if you had some smaller ones, but I don't know, these were like, genetically modified acorn squash. I'm pretty sure they were huge. Here's the good part. Oh no, she didn't. Get yourself some hot honey. Buddy, You're buddy. Not, look no, at that. Oh, oh, 
Oh my. This is like, this is where this recipe comes to life. Don't skip this step. If you're not a fan of heat, hot honey is not very hot, but if you are making this for your kids or your family and they don't like the heat, you could definitely use regular honey, but the heat, it's the sweet, salty, little bit of spicy combination that takes this recipe to the next level. I'm not lying when I say this, I could not stop eating these. I can see that, look at that face. Look. Get you someone who looks at you like Kiki looks at the pizza squash, okay? I, to be honest, I forgot if this was still on. I was just enjoying. <laughs> I was like, oh yes, these are fantastic. And you're chomping right through that skin. That's the key because- Was it leathery? Not 1%. Was it tough? Not 1%. Was it crunchy on the outside? You know what's weird? It's not and crunchy. why don't I have any to try right now? Why am I asking these questions right now? Because number one, I ate like half the recipe doing this. Thanks. Number two, the other half is in my lunch. Sorry. So if you love squash and you only make one squash recipe this season, whether that be for Thanksgiving or Christmas, please make it this one. You will absolutely love it. Speaking of Thanksgiving, if you're looking at this grill and being like, is that thing just for side dishes? Am I just making squash in that? No, check out the next video and we show you how to fit a whole huge turkey on this grill and you can make it this Thanksgiving for your whole family. And we won't tell you the best part, which I do want to tell you the best part. You can do it in under four hours. That was touch and go there. <laughs>